Welcome to This Week in Esports. It has been an absolutely insane week. There was a ton of different tournaments going on, which means we have got so many awesome clips for you this week. Thankfully, I've got Colin McNeil. What's up? And Josh Burry. Yo. To go through it with me. Let's get started. To kick things off, we've got the CEO top eight entrances fame throughout the land. Some of the best I've got here compiled for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, are they going to hold the rope for him? Uh oh, bro, that's dead. Only the best for Snake Eyes, the god, the geek god. He might have just won. That's not fair. Oh, he kind of messed it up at the end, but okay. Here's another awesome one. Captain Zack, well known for his dancing post-victory. Oh, that is so anime. God damn, dude. Really, yeah, really hamming it up. Ken, the Sonic player. Oh! He, he, he spin dashed. He did do a spin dash. He just did a spin dash. Oh, wow. Pretty good. Lost his hat, though. Oh. He keeps losing his hat every time, though. That's why Sonic doesn't have a hat. Yeah. This is the Tekken player Rip channeling his inner yeah. Hitman. Yes. Yes, I love Rip. Is he going to give the glasses? Oh, yo, he's giving the glasses to somebody. So he's giving away his glasses to a young oh, fan. And here's Zero, the Diddy player, chucking the banana peels. <laughs> IRL. <laughs> That's good. Oh, oh nice, nice. <laughs> who's, who's the guy slipping on bananas? That's his coach. Ah, uh, okay. And his terrible dab. Oh, wow, yeah, that was a bad dab. But Ooh. the king Ooh. to rule them all was oh. smug, oh. hoisted oh up on the shoulders of... Jabaley, of course, on the left, and on our right, Kenny Omega, one of the preeminent uh, professional wrestlers today. Shout out to Kenny Omega, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Nice. We're going to watch XMS here land one of the nastiest aces you are going to see this year. Oh. <laughs> Deagle kills. Get your heart racing. Two bullets, two kills off the Deagle. She gets the angle. Be gonna go down. Just a little tap. Little tap will do ya. One tap. Has to watch out. You knew that there, are, there was a player up here to watch. Oh, oh my God! Oh. Insta Gib is turned on. Hmm. Somebody check the settings. Distant is actually quite reasonable. And Spiro tries to bring him. Okay, I'm immune to fire. Holy shit! XMS, are you kidding? That was fucking amazing. So there we have it. Five bullets. Five kill ace. This is fucking art. This is beautiful. It's just so clean. Like, it's just it's just perfection. It's beautiful. It takes stones to run through the fire like that, too. A monster. Okay, this is absolutely hilarious. Uh, Yikes versus Immortals from the Overwatch contenders. Big fight breaking out here. And uh, unfortunately, it's going to end badly for Yikes because uh, D.Va's going to run into traffic here. Oh! <laughs> The mech doesn't save her, unfortunately, from the mighty automobile. How did it fight against Omnix if cars can destroy it? Yeah, yeah like, this mech was built for a war, no? And a friggin' car on the highway crunched it? Hilariously, that was enough to put Immortals over the top, and they take the map. It was moving pretty fast. Like, physics are a very powerful thing. The camera also snapped away, so they may have both disintegrated. We don't know. No. Yeah, maybe the car maybe the car got it just as badly as the mech it's, did. It's honestly quite possible. Like when you hit a moose, right? Like odds are you're gonna you're gonna end up just as badly as, as Jeff Kaplan probably had to get the jaws of life for the guy driving the car. Yeah. Dang. It's gridlock, baby. Alright, so we've got uh, some CEO action here where Swedish Delight is going to jokingly call up a friend of his to come and deliver some coaching. So Axe is gonna bring in a friend of his to also deliver some coaching. That's all I need. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> it's a good coach. Mm -hmm. I mean, is, is it a good coach? It can only realistically say its name. Yeah, but if you can speak it, like, you know, Brock or whoever, somebody Ash, can speak. catch him. A could Ash really understand his Pikachu? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, he could. Okay, all right. What's uh, what's what's the Pikachu's moveset? Like, we don't know. It could have a very beneficial moveset for this match. We know it's possible. All right, we're going to be watching Core JJ here, who is uh, in a really bad spot against KT. But he's going to put on his Nikes. Cool JJ has absolutely nowhere that he can go. Ruler of Okay. Uh, heroic Entrance comes in as well. And there's okay. the Flash Barrel. Okay. okay. Oh, my dance. God. And he's out of there. Donovan Bailey style. Okay, he'll get out with an that, was, that was quite the dance lesson, for now, sure. Now, my question is this. Because this was in heavy debate uh, in on our side when, uh, when, the, when we saw this. Is this a play or is this a misplay? Because he is surrounded on all sides by people, by members of KT. I think it's a play because partially he predicts, he actually predicts like them coming in on him there and flashes away from it. And then he dodges a bunch of, I, I think it's a play. I like to lean on the side of positivity. So I agree. It's a play. Yeah. All right. We jump to the Dota Summit 
<laughs> and uh, who's this mysterious voice that we're hearing? I like. I just like blaming people. <laughs> really? What's your What's your preferred method You're a true of blaming them? You like, and every other player. Player. We've got LD. We've got Jack. We've got PPD. Who is this mysterious fourth man that we're listening to right it's now? It's me. You gotta it's let us in on the secret. Yeah. It's a very, very special guest. It was Jeremy Lin. Oh, what? Making, what? Making his casting appearance at the summit here. Really? How cool is that? That's pretty sweet. So Vici J, really cool. the team that he sponsors uh, or is involved in, was uh, playing at the summit. So he uh, stopped by to do a little bit of casting. Oh, that's fantastic. I'd like to see more of that from, from celebrity you know, owners and investors and things like yeah, that. Yeah, can you imagine if Gordon Hayward popped into the LCS, did yeah. a little casting? Yeah, Jeremy Lin actually plays Dota, too. He's quite good. Yeah. He's, oh, really? He's, he's like 4K MMR. It's pretty good. So, you know, they chatted a little bit about basketball as well. It's, it's really cool. Fans are amazing. Um, I'm, I'm having a ton of fun um, just being a part of that organization and um, playing with yeah, it's awesome. Especially for these, uh, you know, traditional sports people investing in it, it's pretty awesome to see them like fully adopting it before it really blows up. Like you know that Jeremy Lin is really a fan of the game to go hang out at the Summit House. Definitely. Yeah, it's not just an owner thing. Like he is a fan of the game, which is really awesome, honestly. Absolutely. So that was a pretty cool moment from the Summit where we get this, you know, the when the worlds collide, right? Mm -hmm. All right, we've got CEO. Some more action here. Smash Four. MK Leo is going to land a nasty combo onto Larry Lur to open up the game here. With that in the future? I don't know. The reads, the situational awareness, the oh. state of mind. Oh, Very no! Okay. Ah, <laughs> get down there. The dunk. But Larry Lur says, nah, 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 nah. Anything you can do. Oh, no. No, no, no. With Fox, too? Oh. His own full to death combo. Oh. Shit. Wow. Anything you can do, I can do better. That's right. Here's the storm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, Grubby here is going to go for a little bit of a replay analysis. All right. Well, Grubby, I believe you do have a replay for us to go to. Well, I do have a moment. If we just take a look at this. Oh, uh, sorry. Pause for a second. <laughs> uh, <just> something. <laughs> what? That looks like Kolaris. That actually looks a lot like him. Yeah? That was a very accurate depiction. Uh, so so the, the bromance never dies, even in replay so analysis. <laughs> Alright, this is just Cold Zera doing Cold Zera things. Leaving Cold Zera in a 1 on 4. There's the first. Looking for a second, he connects it. Oh, and he gets a third as well. Surely he's not going to pull this one off. Oh, Cold Zera! The man, the myth, the beast! It doesn't get better than that. I can't believe that happened. Oh, man, oh my god. I feel bad for Mouse, man. It's like he's in the Matrix. We've got more for the Overwatch contenders. We've got Selfless going up against FaZe Clan. Carpet here zoning everybody off the points, but uh, no. Oh. <laughs> Shadowburn reflects the Deadeye right back into his face, and that breaks the point open for FaZe Clan to make the comeback. Man, that dead eye just working completely against selfless there. Yo, carpe diem, more like carpe diem. Crazy how he reflects it. He like jumps over and reflects it while he's in the air too. Like very good control. But nobody got hit by a car in this clip. I'm nope. a little disappointed actually. I don't know if you could ask for a more clutch play from your Genji player than that. I mean, if you want clutch Genji plays, uh, Shadowburn is, is the place to go. So we've got more from the summit. We're gonna keeping our eyes on Solo here. I'm also going to point out that it's 13 minutes and 30 seconds into the game. So we've got our poorest person in the game. 1,100 net worth. The fight's going to break out. Solo's going to drop the rock. And the golem's going to go to work here. It's about my net worth right now. That's something. That's, that was going well for LGD. But Death Prophet's coming down now as well. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> X-Back gets taken down by the... All of a sudden, what's Ultra this? Solo. Ultra kill for Solo. I don't even know how that happened. That happened so fast. Like, I, let him have it. No, deny. No, let him have it. Oh, what? Nice, oh. nice, nice, nice. 14 minute rampage for support. That was like an all. That was like it looked almost effortless. It was almost anticlimactic. It was like, yeah. oh yeah, I just I just killed the whole team. Yeah, yeah. fatal bonds. That'll do it. They'll do something to you. Two fans sitting here in the LCK audience. Now, what does this sign say? It says, "If we appear on TV, I slap him." If they appeared on TV. Will she slap him? Yes. Oh. How can she slap? I felt it's savage. Look at his face go How sideways. Can she slap? He's like, oh shit. 
It's oh! coming. Glasses off. I felt that. She's a woman of her word. This one was submitted by a member of the community. This is a Smite, SPL, Noble versus E United. E United going for the game ending play. Took out their Phoenix. 4v1 against the Titan, going for the win. Can Wowie save the game? They're going is this for a win? it. Reviving in eight seconds is Skeleton. The Titan is actually at about 50% Wowie, health. Wowie now. gets one. Wowie gets hell? two. He's looking for the third. He's looking for the fourth. Quad strike kill for Noble. Wowie versus the world, and the world falls down. No Wowie doesn't care if you get if you hit him with an air result. He completely ripped them apart. One versus four, and yes, Noble wins the game. Oh, they came right back. Came right oh back. My my God! All right, as is a, a tradition on the show, we're closing out with the Street Fighter. You know I love when we do that. Dreamhack Summer. Yukon is gonna win the game by playing a different game. He's gonna play a little soccer. Bomb it like Beckham. Ooh! Oh! Are you for the take? Are you serious? He just couldn't be the bomb oil kick could not believe it. What's that new meme? The floor is a bomb. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Damn, that was well timed. Cook up a man. Well, I think that show had a little bit of everything. It had some awesome plays. It had some cool moments. And Jeremy Lin casting on the couch. Who knew? You know what, guys? I just want to say the last week we watched that nifty clip uh, where he had all those sick off kills, um, you know, with the sound cues through the walls and stuff like that. That was amazing. The clip you showed today with XMS, mm -hmm. that for me is even worlds better. That was fantastic. That is probably the best ace that I have ever seen. Ever, eh? It was well, really clean. The, it, was the, clean. it was clean, but like the Molly part makes it for me. Like the 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 cones, man. It's fearless. Go over the top. Absolutely fearless. Nice. Ridiculous. And if you what what do you guys think about that CSGO clip? Is it better than Nifty? Is it potentially one of the best plays of this year? Let us know down in the comments below. And if you see a clip that's awesome or funny or fail from the broadcast you're watching this week, put that down there and we'll maybe we'll feature it next week as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and for myself, Colin, and Josh, we out. GG. See ya. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content, be sure to hit that subscribe button.